Who is your favorite ex? <laughs> if you had to date anybody on the cast, who would it be? <laughs> so what's going on between you and Debo? Do you currently talk to anybody right now? No. You ain't entertaining away. <laughs> hey guys, it's Summers and I am back with another YouTube video. So sorry. Cut! Boom, as you can tell by the title, I am doing another hot seat with the pretty crackhead. The real Ooh. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so I already asked the questions on my Instagram a while back and I have them all in my notes. On Momento. So yeah, so I literally just took all the questions from my Instagram, put them in my notes because it was a lot to keep going back and forth. And if there are any questions Neil wish to skip or add or freestyle, <laughs> she has free will to do so. It's hot seat, so it gets spicy, okay? Yeah. This is any question. Like, I just put in every question in there. But, like, some of these, it's just the last time I want to even discuss them? about it. So this yes, is the last just, time I'm talking about them. Yes, because people no keep. No more. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right. Ice crystal. Are you living in a rated R house? No. I, I have a home. I don't know why that was a question. I'm not homeless. Okay. Um, when was the last time you talked to Jay Sean? Like two or some weeks ago. About a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you feel you're blowing up right now? I would say obviously, well not the show, because it's going on right now. Mm -hmm. The episodes are dropping. Definitely a reason. I've been hanging out with a lot of very influential people, such as herself. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and I mean, I do have to give credit, some credit to myself because I feel like people are saying that I'm a good personality. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And she's good More on exposure. camera. She's good on camera. Okay. Who is your favorite ex? But I'm gonna bleep it out. <laughs> I had to give an over exaggerated <laughs> reaction. How do you feel about relationships? How's your love life? Mine is non-existent. And okay. I feel Yeah, how you feel about relationships? Ash Cash. I feel like I said in my last hot seat, before I was like actively looking for a relationship. But then at that time, after everything that happened, I said if one happens to find me, mm -hmm. that's okay. Now I feel like I'm kinda drifting. Yeah, I don't even really want one anymore like even like it would have to come and find me hard now okay because it almost sounded like you were saying that with a question mark so good save yeah good save. good save do you currently talk to anybody right now no i'm actually like very completely entertaining away <laughs> <laughs> i have nobody that i said there is a there is a label on talking okay yeah Okay. Okay, so what's one thing you wish people knew about you? Me and my mom just had, damn, it's been, this is actually like feeling like a real, real hot seat because it's been a minute since I looked at these questions because I posted that a minute ago. Mm -hmm. But me and my mom were just talking about this recently because honestly, we, me and somebody who I used to deal with, we were having conversations. And of course, a lot of people knew me before, well, people who knew me before, like I went on. Friends with benefits or whatever. They, but this particular person said that I used to be so to myself and now they just see that I'm outside and all this and that. But I feel like what people, not even necessarily that I want people to know, because even if I was outside 24 7 every day of the week, okay, and, hmm. but actually, like I be, I'm not a very, very, very much outside person. Because my bedtime is 10 o'clock. She was just showing me a video of me passed out in the police zone, passed out in the car. <laughs> oh my god! Because I'm a, she sleep. She sleep. 
yeah so i'm not a super outside person like i do like to just chill sometimes hmm. all right she said she be inside but when she really be outside she be outside mm -hmm. she don't mind showing a little face exactly yeah. and yeah. ain't nothing wrong with that so i don't get why that was such a we gonna jot this down with the you see the little hat yes okay it's gonna get more hot okay. all right what's going on between you and nunu nothing and i feel like this is one of the things that i wanted to address because we've never like spoke about it because we didn't think it was nothing to really speak about mm -hmm. or i i don't want to say speak for him but like we did friends with benefits together but like we didn't like mess with each other so people still say like, to this day be in my comments like where's nunu where's nunu where's nunu or her and nunu or thinking we mess with each other we don't mess with each other like we're cool and we're friends but it's not like a fuck with each other type of deal okay and it wasn't so what's going on between you and Debo? nothing people had said that in the comments that they saw us together and said they peeped the connection but like me and Debo don't even text or whatever and i think in his youtube video he just said that too that we don't really like communicate outside of like seeing each other mm -hmm. okay um what's, 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 what's going on between you and jay sean uh, I just I was trying not to look at the phone to remember the questions. It's cute. She's putting little yeah. check marks after what she asked. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Jay Sean? Me and Jay Sean have nothing going on. So it says, if you had to date anybody on the cast, who would it be? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say a girl. Why? Why? Are you homophobic? Why me? Are you homophobic? Why me? Who made Good. you want to pick me? It seems like a good relationship problem. Partner. <laughs> pick a guy honestly i can't see myself if i have to pick somebody ooh, ooh, okay see a little warm <laughs> <laughs> this was like one of those questions you feel like gonna get clipped on tiktok mm. oh god i want to preface by saying i don't see myself dating anybody in the cast because i feel like mixing that mm -hmm. that don't really work mm -hmm. most of the time if I had to date somebody, I mean, if I had to, I'd still choose Nunu because that's who I done already went through like the motions of a thing with. Mm -hmm. So that's who I have seen closest to in that way. Okay. Yeah. Good answer. All right. So what is the worst? What do you feel like is the worst type of influencer? A money hungry one. Like to where you're putting not money hungry as in like you're focused on working because that's good and you should be like driven mm -hmm. but money hungry as in you don't like money before any and everyone else like you don't care about just when you put money making money and making content over like yourself and other people do you know what i'm trying to say like you'll compromise yourself for the sake of content oh yeah that's nah. what i'm saying it's like, actually bad. So you willing to do anything? Any everything. like for you don't care what's being lost, what's at risk, or nothing. Just like in, like yeah, yeah they I dangerous. Agree. I agree, they dangerous for real. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they ask, if Diva was to ask you to homecoming, would you say yes or no? Would you go with him homecoming? I mean, as friends, yeah, I go with. You. I still don't have a date, so. I, I tried, I literally, before the camera yeah, even started, <laughs> I'm like, Ashley, you want me to find somebody to go to home? And I said, well, I'll say now, I'm cool with going solo. That's why, like, I haven't even really, like, I haven't asked nobody. I, I'm cool with going solo because I don't fuck with nobody. And I know a lot of people probably, you know, have their little whoop, whoop and yeah, yeah, so they try and, you know, <laughs> go with, whoop, so. Whoop, yeah, yeah. So, like, if I could go with somebody and we went as friends, sure. And I feel like out of the group, those are the only people, boys, I would go with as friends because people already know that we are friends. So, if I brought in an outside boy, they probably try and whoop and whop it. But mm -hmm. whoop and whop it. Yeah. Whoop the whop. Get me some. I almost said something bad. I did. <laughs> Mary smash kill. What? I don't remember writing that. Mary smash kill. The Friends with Benefits cast. The guys. Guys only. So, like, I have to go down the list and. Who would you marry smash kill? Okay, so I can just pick from them and put them in the mm -hmm. category? Okay. Friends with Benefit Cash. So if y'all don't know, I think it's like six guys. So there's KJ, TJ, Jacob, Cam, Nunu, Chris, Debo, Eli. It was eight. Okay. It's eight guys. That was six. 
All right, Mary, no, no. All right, kill. I know. Actually, couple of my kill. Just <laughs> that sounded so. Wait, what? <laughs> I say like main two. I'm thinking about killing or main couple. I'm thinking about killing is like KJ and Chris because those are just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then okay, so she'd marry Nunu, kill KJ and Chris. As far as kiss, I it says smash. As far as kiss, marry kill, kiss marry kiss <laughs> kill. <laughs> <laughs> I'd kiss. Um, as TJ. Okay. Okay. So, how do you feel about the drama that's in Influencer City? That it's none of my business. It's not like some I say. Yeah, we've been spending time together. Yeah, <laughs> shit, do with me. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Just stay out of it. I feel like that's how people get put in situations by speaking on stuff that don't have nothing to do with them. Because mm -hmm. now you're in it. You can't state your opinion. You can't speak freely. They're going to feel either attacked. They're going to feel like you, you envy them. Or you just can't say nothing nowadays. So that's why it's just best to just stay out of it. Don't say nothing. So do you find anybody attractive? Uh, I find you a love attractive. <laughs> I feel like we're all a little attractive group. That's one we of the are. first things oh I God, said. Like, it's all the girls, yeah. It's Everybody a attractive good. people. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Let me see. It's a couple of moon girls. Okay, do you have beef with anybody right now? You beef no, with somebody? Not that I know of. I always say that because at first I be saying no, but then sometimes people be coming out the woodwork like, oh yeah, I hate her. So, not that I know of. Oh Ain't nobody ever said nothing to me. I hate Ash. I know, right? Well, I feel like mean, I'm so lovable. I hate his name. Okay. So how you feel about get bags? People that get get bags. I'm gonna give y'all the real how I feel about get back. Okay. To me personally, and this is for me personally, I feel like if a boy makes you mad and you go have sex with somebody, that's not get back. Cause at the end of the day, both of the boys are just gonna talk about how they both hit it or had a piece. And then in their eyes, it's gonna seem like you didn't really like it's not gonna look like get back. Like they're gonna laugh about it later. Even if you may be hurt in the moment or something, it's gonna it's not gonna look like real get back. Cause everybody's just gonna say like, oh, she just went and gave herself away. But get back. For some real get back, you need to do something that's going to hurt, but not damage you. So like giving examples in this little some some. Do it hurt your feelings or whatever. You erasing from everything and you're just doing you and having a good time and then maybe if there's somebody he kind of look up to or he kind of like you know or you <laughs> okay 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 i ain't gonna lie i feel like we're running through the majority of them we're running through the majority of them uh i believe the last one says do you like the edits that they make of you yes i love the edits that they make of me i'll sit there and force my mom to look like mama look yeah, them edits be real cute. I know, right? I love the creative ones and the ones that's hard work and dedication. Exactly, bro. I love the ones where, like, from YouTube videos or shows, they yes. take, like, the little voiceovers. And, and then, then, oh my God, I like the ones when they add the little voiceovers over the music and then it goes slow mo and then it goes. Exactly. Boom, boom. Well, I guess that completes the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I've had so much fun here with Nia. If you don't know, she's been in Atlanta for like the last, what, yes, three, I four came days? Yes, Oh my God. Yeah, we've been hanging out. And we're going to spend so much time together because we literally go to Houston together. And then we, we got to come back, back to Atlanta, Atlanta again. Mm -hmm. What a time to spend. Basically, we've all been seeing each other since August. It's November. Oh my gosh, four months. Four months is kind of long. Imagine being in a relationship for four months. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, comment what more videos you want. Oh, and this finished right on time because my camera battery is saying that it's dying like in three seconds. So love you all so much. Bye.